what's up team cwj your girl is back okay i'm so ready to show y'all this recipe it's delicious by the way if you hear this fan and this voiceover it's 12 in the morning i like my fan on when i'm slow i'm good laying down so okay so we are going to be making spaghetti squash you guys and i made people who hate squash like squash because of this recipe so it is really really fun it's better than your average spaghetti let's try it out let me show you how to do it so as you see i got me a um I got me an actual spaghetti squash, okay? You can get these pretty much at any grocery store. You can get it at the Walmart, neighborhood markets, wherever. Or right, just at Walmart. It's, it's pretty easy to find. Um, So that's the good thing about it. But I'm telling you right now, these things is amazing. So now what I like to do to scoop out the um, middle is I like to just kind of go around the rim of the inside just to kind of loosen it up. All right, um, this way that it's, I feel like when I do that, it's way easier to scoop out. It's like a quicker, cleaner scoop than just going and dragging into it with a spoon. So this is just my method, but you could just do it however you want, you know. Um, but as you see, it's coming up way more, it, it just seems way easier that way. So that's how I like to scoop it. Also, you guys, I want to tell you, when you cut this thing in half, because the struggle is real, get y'all a decent knife, okay? Because, mm-mm. Um, Y'all see uh, basically what I'm doing here. I'm just scooping out the seeds and I went ahead and repeated the same thing No, you guys um, I'm repeating the same thing on the other squash So um, like I said, it, it, this is my method. You can do it however you want But as you see it's like a really nice clean um, finish. We're gonna go ahead. I went ahead and put on some gloves y'all I don't know. It's a bad habit, but I went ahead and drizzle some olive oil on there y'all yeah drizzle but don't drown it drizzle don't drown it's a different so now i got my pink salt i'm just gonna go ahead and um you know put it all this basically put some pink salt on it then we're gonna go ahead and get the pepper of course because you know that pepper be popping honey okay um so once you go ahead and get the pepper all on there i do have to massage it in so i'm gonna change gloves to do so and uh, once I get some clean gloves on, then I'm going to go ahead and use that. Massage it in there, y'all. Don't be afraid to massage. And if any oil falls on your baking pan, then you can go ahead and scoop that in. And um, also rub and massage it into the zucchini. Uh, but Lord, why I say zucchini? I'm sorry. Into the spaghetti squash. So I did one, and I just pretty much was doing the other to show y'all. And I like to put oil on the, sh on, the on the skin as well. I don't know why. But I'm putting that in the oven for about 40 minutes on 400 I want to take it out. It looked like this. And I just, all I do is just kind of um, grab the rim and I just take my fork and just rake through it. And it just turns into noodles. It's like spaghetti noodles. Uh, obviously, you see why I got the name. And then once I'm done doing that, obviously, I'm going to do the next one. But I'm telling you all the key to doing this, do not rake all of it up. Make sure that you leave like an outer rim so that it can still be stable and to stand up on its own um because if you just scoop everything out it's gonna just open up and be flat and be a hot mess so now what i'm doing is i'm transferring what i just scooped into the next bowl so i'm getting all the squash out and of course i'm gonna do the other one but i'm gonna do that one off camera so you know then after that then i'm gonna go ahead and take it's the alouette the spinach or artichoke that one is the best one you can also use the um garlic and herb one um, that one's really good as well, but I pretty much just scooped the whole amount, the whole, um, jar of it in there. Then I got some Parmesan and I'm eyeing it. I'm used to doing this, but as I said, the exact details will be in the description box. And after I added the Parmesan, I'm just adding in some feta because that gives it a nice tangy taste. I love it. And then we're going to add in the, I have the Sargento mix, which is, has like the mozzarella and provolone mix, but most times I just use mozzarella. So you could definitely do that. Um, and of course I use one egg. Don't judge me, but it binds it together, honey. Okay. Um, obviously after we do all that, we need to put some pepper and I just got like a dollop. Like I just put my fork and got a little dollop of sour cream and I'm just going ahead and mixing that through until it becomes like a creamy, um, consistency, you guys. So y'all see, I'm over here putting in that work. I'm, I'm over here mixing it up, mixing it up. But um, the egg kind of binds it together. And, you you know, what I do is I like to fold in the egg, especially if my noodles is hot because I'm not trying to have no scrambled noodles. That ain't, that ain't what we going for. Okay? So I already got that creamy. And all I'm doing now is I've had the ground turkey. I would say use one pound. I got the three pound one because of I just want an extra meat for other stuff. Um, then I got my olive oil. Um, it's like an olive and avocado oil blend, and I just put that there. And I let the oil get hot. 
as you see remember exact measurements will be in the description so look down there for the exact measurements of everything and um now i'm putting in that meat like i said use one pound especially if you're only making this i just wanted to have the meat cooked for other stuff and from there all i do i like to mash down my meat just to make sure that i don't know just to like break it up and then i love me some taco seasoning i like taco seasoning because it's more spices than anything y'all see that sorry about the camera and the lighting i don't know why i do that but all I'm doing is just mixing in that taco seasoning, and it, I'm going to get my garlic powder. I know I think taco seasoning got garlic powder, but I still don't be try. I still put more because I like it to stand out. And, of course, onion powder next. It follows. Um, we're going to go ahead and mix that in. And then after that, you guys, um, after we finish mixing it, dang, I'm still stirring. I know my arm tired. <laughs> okay. No, I'm a serious note, though, you guys. Um, after that, then I got went ahead and got my pink salt and just put some more on top of it, as you see. And we're just going to mix that in. And then let me tell you, the Tony's Creole seasoning, you're just going to get that and just, you know, just make sure you kind of coat it, but not too much. Ooh, I spilled that. Let's pretend like we didn't see that. And you just mix it in. Um, pretty much just mix that all the way in, like I said. Um, make sure that the it's pretty much going to just uh, get the flavor. All I'm doing now is just make sure the meat is all the way cooked. Once you're done doing that, um, then, yeah, you pretty much just add the sauce. But first, obviously, I told you all y'all need all that meat. You see me put my greedy tail putting that stuff into a bowl so I can use it for other recipes. Um, but for the meat that we are using, I used um, tomato sauce. Or you can make your own. It don't matter. And all I'm doing is just stirring that together, Okay. So, yeah, that's easy. Now that filling that we made, that creamy filling, all I'm doing is just putting it back into the spaghetti squash. I'm just throwing it back in there. And then we're going to go ahead after the, after we put that creamy filling in there. Um, like I said, I'm just pretty much leveling it out. And then we're going to get our meat, the little meat and the sauce that we had um, earlier. We're just putting that on top. Okay. Uh, once I put it on top of this one, of course, I'm going to do the same to the other one. And then, um, obviously, we're going to top this baby off with some cheese. So, that's that mozzarella and provolone mix that we used earlier. Or you could use mozzarella. That's why I use most times. That works. You just put that on both of them. And then you get the Parmesan um, right after and sprinkle that on top of both of the squashes. Okay. Now, we're going to put this baby back in there until the cheese is melted, honey. Okay. I usually put it in there for like 10 minutes. So, yeah. To garnish it, I got some cilantro, and all I'm doing is I use my scissors to cut it because I was too lazy to chop it. I'm not going to lie. Um, so that's how I garnished it, but they came out beautiful, wouldn't you say? Just look at that. Um, honey, this right here will turn somebody into a squash lover. Thank you guys so much. Love you. See you next video.